everyone. Welcome to Sam Livecast. I'm Sam. That's Max. Hello. And uh, there's Lynn. Right. And there's Lynn. I'm here. Or you gotta make noise. I, I was. I have to switch and talk. You know what? Just cook you onions. can do that. Cook your onions, dude. I'm cooking my onions. Cook your onions. So here's what I've got. I've got some uh, yellow onions. Little olive oil starting to soften in the pan. They're gonna have two uses. They're doing double duty, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's appetizer week, Thanksgiving week of Thanksgiving appetizers. We did the little uh, cream cheese, pineapple, horseradish, yellow mustard, dry mustard thing that was super delicious, delicious. on Monday. And now um, I'm gonna make some soup. One for two two reasons why we're gonna make soup. Anybody want to guess? Because uh, it's cold. Because it's cold. Yes, because it's cold. One. Two. Because uh, my neighbor Nancy across the street is not feeling well, and I said, "Do you want some soup?" And she goes, "Are you making some?" And I go, "Yeah, I can make some." So, I'm make some soup. So here's what I got. I got a little pot. <laughs> Side joke. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, we'll get this hot, and then we're going to take a little bit of the onion. And put it in here. I just got it started in this. I didn't excuse want to waste me, time. Huh? I said, excuse me, Lucky. Why is it going in there? You're going to see where well, there's two things. So we're making soup and little grilled cheese, uh, little appetizer soup and grilled cheese, right? I think that's a nice thing. It's a nice little change, of course, from like regular dips and stuff. Yeah. So we're going to get some onion going in here. We're going to get some garlic going in, up in here. Find a nice big clove of garlic. Yeah. One, here we go. This guy right here. I'll get my, oh, that was like really close to my head. <laughs> it's like I almost hit myself on the camera. Garlic, boom. Oh, you're gonna make your, your soup in there. Yes, and then we'll give it a quick whiz in the blender. It's gonna be super simple. And look what I'm using as my base. Obviously. These beautiful San Marzano whole peeled tomatoes. They're outstanding. And by the way, there's plenty of supermarkets these days that are, uh, that are carrying them. We've talked about it here. You hear all kind of people talk about uh, those little San Marzano tomatoes. Why did I just open up this drawer, Max? I don't know. Oh, camera. camera. Uh, and they're really good. Uh, up until recently, at least here in San Diego, you had to go to probably an Italian market to get them. But now, no. Now the supermarket's starting to care of them because clearly they're really damn good. I actually have seen them in the Mexican supermarket next to my house. Oh, you have? Which is a little odd, to be honest. But yeah, huh. they're there. That's interesting. Okay, so this is going to be like the very quick little tomato soup. So, onion and garlic are in this pot. And now in are gonna go the whole peeled tomatoes. Got it? Oh, the smell is just... Now, if I really wanted to, I could have broken them up with my hands. I'll do that with a spoon a little bit. What am I getting? Why did I come over here? You got a, you're getting a spoon. Oh, I, didn't, I don't want one of those spoons. <laughs> Why would I do that? You think about was in the wrong spot. I'm just really like sort of backwards yeah. today. Like, there you go. Thank you, Max. Yeah, I'm shooting and cooking. First person. So look, here we are. Oh yeah, total first person. So I'll break these, like the tomatoes like this, right? Beautiful. Beautiful whole peeled tomatoes. No skins, easy to deal with. Just bust these up a little bit. This is going to get whizzed up in a blender, okay? I got my uh, burner on right here for the grilled cheese that we're going to have in a bit. No lucky, don't eat the onion. Oh, is he? I don't know. Oh, he's eating something. Lucky. Hey. Don't be naughty. Okay. What kind of bread we got there, sir? We got just whole wheat. I, you know what? I thought I had like really great bread. 
I don't have really great bread, but it is whole wheat. It's going to be fine. Whole wheat can be pretty good. Oh no, it's it is. But you know, I like that that Dave CD bread. Oh, it's the best. Oh yeah, I think that stuff is really really we good. We saw that in Maui. Can you get that yeah. everywhere? Oh, uh, we Max just said we saw that in Maui. Hmm. So yeah, you're starting to be able to get it a lot of places. Okay, so what do we have to give this soup? Salt and pepper. We have to give it some salt. Uh, tomatoes are really acidic. Sugar. So we're going to give it a little sugar to counteract that. That's starting to do its thing. A little uh, red pepper flake. Because the reality is, is, if I have any, I only have a little. Oh, here we go. No, that's not it. Here we go. Let's go a little Italian on this and throw a little uh, oregano in. These almost need nothing else. They will need a little bit of butter in a second. It's pretty so, nice, man. This is good weather food. Isn't oh it? Oh my god, it's perfect. It's a perfect time of the year Fall for this. Food, yeah. And and you when you see it, you'll see it. It it makes a nice I like a nice little appy together. Let me throw some sugar in. Honestly, you don't really need much more in this. You know, Just who do you think bit. came up with this like grilled cheese tomato soup combination? Do you think it was like the Campbell's Corporation? Oh, God. I'd like to think it was. In combination with Kraft? Yes. <laughs> I'd like to think it was. But it's so good. Okay, so this smells really good. When this gets in the blender, we're going to see how thick it is. If we need to, we're going to uh, we're going to give it a little cream just to jump start it a bit. Cuz I don't want a weak, I don't want a thin soup at all. I want a dippy, super delicious, nice thick soup cuz that's the weather and that's what I want. And damn it, I'm going to have what I want. Let's go over here. Get what you want. Yeah, put it right there. We good? Good. Back up for a sec, Max. Sorry, I just got to get a little butter out of here. All right. What do you do extra in your grilled cheese usually? Uh, we're gonna just use two cheeses. We're gonna make it simple. I mean, honestly, you could probably do anything you wanted in this. I feel show like you. everybody has their own house grilled cheese that they do, you know, like stuff they like. I'll show you. Okay, so here we go. Oh, this is really hard for me <laughs> because of the cut. Oh. You that is it? super difficult. No. Well, what I don't want to do is have it spill. Yeah, I don't want tomato all over me. You don't want tomato all over you? Bad day to wear a white shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to have to go right here. Okay, we're good, right? And... Nicely, nicely little buttery, delicious morsels of onion. That's going to be really oh, good. Yeah. Have I seasoned that yet? I haven't, have I? Mm. Look at, check this out. How's this for tomato soup? Up top, up top, Junior. Wow. Wow. It could be a little thicker, right? Mm, maybe. It's, it's pretty, pretty close. Yeah. How's it taste? Look at a brother up. It's real hot, so give it a blow. Oh my god. Right? How, how, there's nothing to that. Uh, it's, don't touch it. 
There's nothing to that. Okay, I won't touch it. Okay. Grilled cheese. Uh, Man, if you're not making tomato soup tonight, I don't know what's wrong. I know, right. I know. I feel like I need right. buckets of this. Okay. This is butter right there. This is on. I can turn this down. Uh, I don't need a giant clove of garlic at this point. I need a little one. I'm trying to hurry. <laughs> this is when I get into trouble. No, don't hurry, man. I'm just going to cut another finger. Well, I don't have anything to cut. Okay, see this? A little pat of butter. See this? Ooh. Garlic. Get in there. I like where this is going, sir. Microwave. Garlic butter for the? For the grilled cheese. Nice. Yeah. So. Just relax, just relax. We're all good. We're all good. He just is hurrying because he wants to eat it. Now before I get, before I get shit for this, <laughs> I better build this. What do you mean? What do you mean, sir? Here's going to be my sandwich. I'm going to go... Sorry. One layer Monterey Jack. Hmm. Okay? Okay. Oh, wow. Then the onions. I like where your noggin's going, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm -mm. God, grilled onions are so awesome. Aren't they amazing? It's gotta be one of my favorite vegetables, now that oh I think God, about really, it. I think for me it so is. So underrated. I think if you ask people what their favorite vegetable is, well, not many people are gonna say, say onion. onion. Yeah. Right, but look what it does to everything. It's a very good Oh, point. it's amazing. But people would be like, avocado, tomato, not a onion. Wait, tomato's a fruit, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yes. I guess you're right. Okay, here, onion, here, look, craft oh, slices. The glorious, the glorious. We've talked cheese. about this, how good this crazy shit melts. This is how I grew up with. Or this is what I grew up with. And do you see the placement? Do you catch what's going on here with the diagonal placement? Yeah, the cheese drips over the side. That's intentional, man. Oh, thank you. Excellent. Okay. Let's make a great picture. There's my lid right here. Now we take this garlic butter. Uh, I can't really um, flip this sandwich now at this point because it'll all just go bad. So I'm going to take this garlic butter right here. Oh, okay. You're just going to put it right on. I'm going right here. Oh, this is mean. Oh, it's just going to make it smell so good back there. And now the sandwich quick, quick, quickly, quick. quickly. Don't worry, I'm coming. Everybody has got to wish they were here. Yeah. I'm sorry, everybody. Okay, um, here's what I'm going to do. I don't think you need to see a grilled cheese cook, do you? No. Nah. Uh, I mean, I, everybody gets what's going to happen now. How come that's weirdly red? It's because you're light. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so camera up on me. Okay, we don't need to watch a grilled cheese cook, because trust me, we all know how to make a cook. You don't want to brown it. I mean, you want it to brown or you don't want to blacken it, right? So. This is going to cook. We're going to take a quick break. We come back from that break. We're having uh, uh, tomato soup shots and little baby grilled cheeses. Best day of the year. Little baby grilled cheeses. How cute is that? Don't go away. And we're back, and here it is. Listen. That's important nice. sound. A little bit that of garlic crazy. coming off of that. Yeah, totally. Wait, I guess I just do this in... So remember, if you're doing this as an appetizer, you're not giving anybody a whole sandwich. You could give somebody one of these little soups up here. Come on up, Max. Now look what's going on in here, right? Oh. You've got the two types of cheese, orange on one side, the Monterey Jack on the other, and... The onions. The onions in the middle. Holy S. Sorry. Holy S, Batman. Look what's going on here. You're building a little tower. Well, I was. And then I realized this one's going to be for me, at least half. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this. 
First, I'm gonna grab a little shot glass. Oh my God. And have a little sip. It smells crazy. I'm telling you the difference with what that little garlic butter oh, does is. No, honestly, absolutely. Oh. Kelly tried it in the break. She goes, it's a little spicy. It's not. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, please. This is mental. You can say mental, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so. And now this, the proverbial, the necessary, the all-important dip. I wish we had angel sound. Oh my God. <laughs> oh Lord. I got nothing else. I'm gonna just end with this. Just do it. The spice, the richness, everything, the little bit of garlic, everything just goes together. It's really fantastic. It's a really fantastic combination. I want you to make it. All right, here's the deal. Because Friday is uh, the day after Thanksgiving, or what I like to call Thanksgiving Day, that nobody else likes to call it, because it just makes sense, because the day after Christmas is Christmas Day. I don't know why that doesn't make sense with anybody, but it works for me. You're all going to be busy and stuff, but tune in uh, early, because uh, I'll be talking leftovers. It'll probably just be me, give the boys the day off. It'll be me talking leftovers, looking at great pictures, and giving you links and stuff like that. Everybody good? Good. Yeah. All right. Have a great Thanksgiving, everyone. Max, well, you're going to be here. Lynn, have a good uh, Northern California Thanksgiving. Middle California. Middle California, sorry. But I'm going to love it, man. Yep. Uh, hope Sven sleeps all the way up. <laughs> and we'll look forward to seeing you guys uh, back here uh, Monday. All right? Sweet. Have a good Thanksgiving. Have a great weekend. We'll see you.